Welcome to the video on how to use Irfan View to both resize and rename a set of images uh, for importing into Flash to create a stop animation. First step uh, I want to do is show you uh, where you can get Irfan View. It is a free download. Uh, you can obviously contribute to the developer if you wish. Um, but as it says in its own website, it's one of the most popular viewers worldwide and it's really simple, uh, but really powerful. Uh, once installed, uh, you can see when you open up an image in Earth and View, you get a whole lot of details about the image. Uh, you can open files directly from the file system uh, and you can do all kinds of editing of the image as well, such as cropping, rotating, um, changing the colors to converting it to grayscale if you wish, a whole lot of different options as well. <clears throat> what we're going to use it for today is to create a set of files for renaming and converting. I have already got a folder set up with all of the original images in it. You can see there are 20 images in here. And you can see that they're very large files. Uh, this is the dimensions in pixels, and this is the size in kilobytes. So this is one and a half of megabytes per picture. I've got 20, that's a lot. So how much is that? Well, you can see that's nearly 26 megabytes. If we try and import all of those into Flash, we're going to have a very large folder, a very large file, and it's not going to work very well. So we want to reduce those pictures down as much as we can without reducing the quality too much. So here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to create a new folder here, uh, and I'm going to call this uh, my new images folder. And this is where I'm going to save my adjusted images in. It's always a good idea to keep the original photos at least somewhere. So in the batch conversion, and again, I'll show you where I got that from. It's in the file menu, batch conversion rename. Uh, if you only want to do a conversion or just a rename, or if you want to do both, which we're going to do in this case, you can change the format to any valid picture format. We're going to keep them as JPEGs. And if we want to do some fancy stuff while we're converting, which we do, then we can bring up this setup screen. Uh, we're not going to crop. We are going to resize. Um, it's very important that you keep this aspect ratio proportionality ticked. And I'm going to set the width of my images to 600. That will automatically make the, the width 800 because of the proportion or 800 thereabouts. If you've taken your photo landscape, you might want to set this to 800. I'm going to set mine to 600. You might check the canvas size of your flash project in order to uh, set those dimensions. You can see there's a whole lot of other options you can select here. So if you want to play around with lots of photos, you can play around with Earth and View, find out what all the features you are that you want to change, and then set them in here. You can even save these settings and load them for later on. You can see here we have a rename pattern. Um, I'm going to call mine, I'm going to call mine test hash hash. The hashes is 0102.03 or 0.01.002. I know I've only got 20 files. If you've got over 100, obviously you want to keep that uh, 001 pattern uh, so that the numbers stay in order. Once you've set up your settings and your names, you can tell it where are you going to put these new pictures. So that's where I'm going to put mine. And you can then, where are you getting them from? Well, I'm getting from mine from my original folder, and I want to add all of those files in here. You can see I've got 20 of them. It's as simple as that. 
Now I can click on Start Batch. It runs through them one at a time. If there are any warnings or errors, you can look at what's going on here. And if we bring up the folder again, you can see now in my new images folder, I have all of these images numbered sequentially. And you can see the dimensions of the files here. The size, we've gone from a total of 26 megabytes down to one and two third megabytes. So uh, that's going to be much easier to do in uh, to use in Flash. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, go and see your teacher. Bye.